I'm Rex Proctor, and this is another screencast in our series of screencasts for Sports Tech GB. Now in this screencast, we're going to cover the whiteboard, but I'm also going to whip through all of the things that we've learned in the previous screencasts. So we're going to create some instances, we're going to chuck those up in the dock, we're going to add a whiteboard, add a whiteboard with the current frame, draw on top of it, and then put together a short presentation. So sit back and enjoy the screencast. All right, let's choose my first project as we've been doing throughout this series of screencasts. And I'm going to whip through creating a few instances and then adding some whiteboards and using the dock. So it's a little more complete tutorial, I guess. So let's go ahead and add an event here. So I'm adding a timeline event. I'll disclose that so everyone can see it. I'll select that new event row and I'm going to code an instance or two. Okay, now I've got three instances. Let's chuck those up into the dock. I'm going to do them individually just by double tapping. You'll see that's been inserted into the dock. Going back to my main movie, keep inserting subsequent instances. Okay, great. Now let's go to our dock here, our dock actions menu, and we're going to add a whiteboard. Now a whiteboard is what I would call a title screen. So you're going to use these to break up your presentation. So I'm going to drag this down a bit, and if you tap on it, it will open up the inspector. So let's change the background. I prefer a black background. So what we need to do is fire up the saturation to full, and we'll drag this down to black and click done. Now you can set the duration so if you want the whiteboard to play for five seconds, ten seconds, whatever. I'm not going to do that for the sake of this uh, this screencast. So I'll close that and now I'm going to add a title using my text tools. So click and drag that out. Tap to get my inspector. Let's change the font to Arial and let's increase the size a bit so it's readable and then I'm going to adjust the title and I'll call this my first title great let's position that in the center and you'll see that I can move this to the front of the clips and when I play the doc movie that will be the first clip that's played and then the instance. So pretty easy to create title screens. Now it's a common thing to create a title screen and then want to reuse it in many projects. So what you can do is select it and then export the whiteboard and you'll find that in your library. So it's called My First Title. I'll go ahead and add that. Now if you want to insert that again, because I want to insert it at the end and create an end title, all I can do is go Import Whiteboard. There's my library. I'll select it and it's at the end and we'll change that to the end. How convenient is that? Okay, now let's say I want a whiteboard based on a frame of the movie. I'm going to set the playhead to the first instance here, right at the beginning, and hit my dock actions menu and I'm going to add current frame whiteboard. What that does is basically copy and paste the frame and make it the background image for the whiteboard. What I'm going to do is I'll add an ellipse here because I want to highlight this right here what's going on there and we'll make that a little bit opaque so that you can see through it. Grab that, make it nice and opaque and we'll make it red so that's the key area that I want to focus on and I'll move that to right before this first instance and then I'll play the doc movie so you'll see my first title comes up for three seconds and then this is the area I want you looking and then the movie begins to play so the whiteboard is incredibly helpful when creating presentations that people uh, really enjoy watching and can learn from and that ends this screencast covering off creating whiteboards, exporting and importing whiteboards from your library. If you have any questions, please email support at sportstech.com.
Thank you very much.